Member for Caribou North. Mr. Speaker, wildfires, floods, landslides in Caribou North have caused dramatic damage in recent years, with hundreds of roads impacted, washed out, and or collapsed. Urgency is desperately needed for preventative work and maintenance on rural roads, bridges, and culverts. The current condition of the Quinell River Bridge and rail overpass are very concerning, and the lack of a concrete plan is equally alarming. Record levels of snow have already fallen this year, and more is expected. Mr. Speaker, people are bracing for a potential disaster with spring freshet. So, to the Premier, what is the plan for the Quinell River Bridge and Rail Overpass, a vital link for Highway 97's transportation network? Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member for the question. Uh, she and I have had an opportunity to, uh, to speak on many occasions over many Frechette and uh, recent calendar years where roads in the Caribou have sustained significant damage, where slide activity has emerged, where it was previously not a factor. This is due to uh, the impact of wildfires, as the member uh, correctly noted. Um, but I think the member also knows that in every instance where we have literally restored connectivity for hundreds of roads, this government has spared no expense to get people to and from work, to and from school, to use the construction seasons in the spring and summer to work as quickly as we can to restore uh, the caribou uh, communities that have lost road access, and we will continue to do that. I know we have a budget pending this afternoon. The member will have an opportunity to see what the investment plan looks like in her region, as indeed all MLAs will look uh, in their own region. But we have worked with the federal government on disaster financial assistance. We have spent hundreds of millions of dollars on the West Fraser Road, for example, to in fact reallocate corridors to areas that are away from uh, climate risk uh, to, uh, to, to further uh, damage in the future, to build resiliency, and we will continue to do that.